Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Okay, also. I can't move like I used to. Gucken wir jetzt, dass wir an eine Scheune für Schafe kommen. Auf geht's! In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some cornhusk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Das ist gemein, wie er das so sagt. So. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <lacht> das stimmt, ja. Möbel haben wir noch keine. Ich würde jetzt aber ganz gerne, bevor wir wieder zu dem Typ mit dem Hausverkauf ähm, reiten, würde ich ganz gerne mal kurz zum Stall reiten, damit ich Futter für mein Pferd kaufen kann. Das ist ja fast am Weg. Und wir müssen mal zum... Wir müssen mal zum... Ach, der Stall hat noch nicht auf. Ja, dann, dann, dann machen wir erst das hier. Warte mal, hat der, hat, der, hat der Friseur schon auf? Hier unten, Barbier, ja. Der Barbier hat offen. Dann reiten wir da mal ganz kurz hin. Dann kann John sich auch mal rasieren. Ansonsten fällt Abigail vom Glauben ab, wenn sie hier ankommt. Dann passt ihr das bestimmt auch wieder nicht. So. Jo, moin. Ja, ja, wir steigen ja auf unser Pferd. Hier. Hallo. Looking for a trim? So, was machen wir denn hier? Schneiden oder Frisuren? Was haben wir denn für Frisuren? So ein Man Bun wäre doch cool. <lacht> Glatze, nein, Quatsch. Glatze wollen wir nicht. Äh, was machen wir denn? Schneiden...
Ja, machen wir mal auf die Länge. Und Bärte. Oh, nein, 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 das passt. Das passt definitiv alles nicht zu ihm. Bevor wir das machen, machen wir einfach nur glatt rasiert. Aber, ähm, nee. Ich glaube, wir, wir, ich glaube, wir lassen ihn einfach nur trimmen. Auf die Länge. So. Das passt schon. Jetzt ist er wieder ansehnlicher. Nicht, dass er vorher nicht ansehnlich gewesen wäre, aber jetzt sieht er wieder ein bisschen ordentlicher aus. So, hat jetzt der Stall eigentlich offen? Moment. Warum hat er denn nicht offen? Was hat er denn für Öffnungszeiten? Ganz ehrlich, es ist ja schlimmer als am Dorf hier. <lacht> Das läuft dem ja auch so vor die Latüchte hier. Ja. Dann wollen wir doch mal gucken. So, du wartest mal eben hier. Maggie. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I... But this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the po Painted Sky. Oha, bis dahin sind wir ja noch mal eine Weile unterwegs. Okay, I'll follow you. Yeah. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. And I have no photo for my arm's pferd. Who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. 
And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Ah. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs>